what's up guys welcome back to a new video uh, today's video we're starting a brand new series in this series we're going to be playing feed the beast ocean block um it is very similar to like a survival island kind of um minecraft series but with uh what looks to be 210 mods in the game uh so it has a quest like system that will slowly make you progress through the world um i think it starts off with just uh, shifting through some gravel, some sand, that kind of stuff. And then you push on and you start dealing with dragons and well, drag draconic technology. So using dragon hearts and stuff like that. I have dabbled in a little bit of this stuff, not this mod pack in specifically. Um, but I did enjoy modern Minecraft previously when I did start playing, uh, my, or not start playing Minecraft, but back when I was a bit younger, I did play a lot of modern Minecraft. So do have a little bit of an idea as to what we're getting ourselves into, but um, the mod pack itself, I am not quite sure. So the idea is we click single player. I've had a quick look around um, and I know which island I'm going to pick, but let's go through them all and show uh, how the worlds work. So in this, you don't do a seed. Uh, we have some worlds that are already set up. So you can go for a bit of a Standard starts, this is the most stock standard option. And then you have a cottage, with look, which looks to have some wheat and like a little house built there, which is kind of cool. And you have some, the skyblock option, which is skyblock on the water, which would be quite hard. Um, we won't be doing that one, but it would be very hard because swimming in this is a little bit different. Um, so then we have some of these other ones that are made by different creators. So you have the hell... So that's basically nether, the end, which is very much end themed. And then we have community, which is the easy starter. So that one's probably the easiest option. Um, and then you have a globe, which actually starts underwater, which is kind of cool. But uh, I think we're just going to go for the traditional, um, the island. The only reason I want to do that is because we haven't really uh, dabbled in this mod pack at all. Um, and let's get the play... The playthrough of how the uh, mod mod creator, mod pack creator, yeah, mod pack creator intended. So let's do that. So we've selected the island. I uh, will change this to Infodox. Let's play. I don't think a, a seed's going to matter in this because I think they're generated already. Uh, let's go for hard. We'll be in survival. We're not going to play hardcore. Um, cheats are off, no data packs, I don't think we need anything here. Game rules, all stock standard, I ain't touching that. Normal world, um, structures on, world type default, no bonus chest, no settings to import, and I'm not going to use a seed, I'm going to leave it random because I don't think it changes anything. Um, but in saying that, I really don't have any idea as to how this world works. So what we're going to do is we're going to click create new world and we're going to let it create. I don't know how long this is going to take. So if it does take a little bit, I'm going to cut from here and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Uh, the world has now partially loaded in, I'd say. I wouldn't say it's definitely loaded in. I do need to change a setting real quick. Uh, where's controls? Auto jump off because I don't like that. Uh, sensitivity is a bit high, but I'll, I'll muck around with settings in a little bit. Um, so as you can see, this is our little island that we started off with. I think this is a good spawn because I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that causes mobs to spawn. I really hope not. But as you can see, ocean's incredibly deep. I don't think we can swim as easily. Yeah. Swimming's a bit weird in this. Um, it feels very heavy just from how I was just doing it then. Um, so we start off with two books, which I'll get into in a moment. I just want to quickly survey what we have going on around here. Uh, I think that guy has a hat on. I don't think that's just a squid that's different. There's stuff there, which we might go look at. I don't know how hard it is going to be to swim over there. Um, but yeah, so we start off with a massive tree. Start off with a little campfire. I gotta turn down the sensitivity. It's way too high. Let's drop it down to I think 75 is what I play on. Yeah, that feels alright. Still probably a bit high, but that, that's okay for now. Alright, so obviously, first thing, let's have a look. So 
this is all of the uh, quests so far. So as we progress, more quests will unlock in this uh, section over here. I think test is very much just... I don't think I want anything of this, so... <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that. Let's not collect an award from there. I did not realize that that was actually very much a, just a cheat. You can get some of the really, really strong stuff here. Like um, this, these two here are massive to have. That's very good to have. Obviously, time is good to have. So if you guys do want to cheat, I guess I just found a way to do it. Well, not cheat. It's, it's intentional. But get yourself very far ahead very quickly. All right. So what we need to do is we need to start by obviously chopping wood. Very simple for Minecraft. Everyone knows that in Minecraft. Um, but as you see, there's an auto hammer, which, you know, that's not normal Minecraft. The sluices, which is how I think we get ore. Manual pumps, animals. So I assume that's a cow. Um, but you can see some of these are like, this one's optional. But some of the other things are a bit more required. So let's start off with getting some wood. Maybe we'll just cut down this whole tree and, ooh. Does it only need one wood? I don't know. It only need, it needs four. Okay. So you can hover over it and you can see all that kind of stuff. It'll then give us a, I think three apples. All right. So that's four. Let's go here. And a random reward would we get? Ah, nice little pickaxe. What's the durability on that? Uh, the F3C, no, F3H, isn't it? Yeah. So what's this got? Doesn't say. Ah, that's kind of weird. So we have also in our inventory, this is called, I think this is JEI, um, which shows us everything. Uh, and because we don't have admin, I can't just spawn things in. But if I click things, it'll tell me how to make them which is very similar to the recipe book in standard Minecraft. It's just a recipe book for this many items. As you can see, 29 pages would be a nightmare. Um, so you can see there's some pretty cool stuff here. There's all machines and pipes. Um, yeah, there's just a lot. It looks to be jetpacks, which is really cool. A lot of these, I, ha I do know how they work. Um, I know a lot of them have changed since I played because it's been a while. But yeah, we'll get into all of that as we progress. So actually, what's the next step? Because maybe we need to do something before we get rid of this all. So, okay, they want us to go into tinkers. That's all right. Um, craft any basic tinkers tool, get a part builder, a tinker station, and three patterns, and a dripper. So how does a dripper get made? Let's have a quick look. So we can search up here, D-R-I-P-P-E-R. And that's a dripper. So we need a button, a slab, and some sticks. So first of all, I think we should turn all this into that. Make this. Oh, we have a little bin. That's cool. I might actually just get one of the items from the test section and just bin it straight away. Um, we'll have a look in a moment. I also don't know if that's necessary to keep. I don't know if there's something there that we're going to really need or not. So... Um, yeah, so this, we kind of got unlucky with the tree in the sense of it's very big and going to be quite hard to just destroy. So, a little, a little bit annoying by that, but that's all right. We're not, we're not really stressed about how long it's going to take to destroy a tree. And I guess it gives us a lot of wood to start off early. Alrighty, so what we need to do is let's do the dripper first, so... And that, all right. And I think that was the dripper. Yes, it was. All right. We go to our quest book. I think there's a hotkey I can use for that. And we'll get into that in a minute. What on earth is this? Rod of the Highlands. I don't even think I can use this. I don't have mana. And Batania is a very mana-esque kind of mod pack. So let's just quickly have a look as to what the uh, control is for quest book. So open quests, we could do 
I'm just going to use my hyphen key. Yeah, that's good because I'm not going to use that very commonly and I can just quickly flick to it. Yeah, I like that key for me. And that's a fun thing. You can always do your own preference. Uh, while we're at it, can we make uh, a tool station? So if you do at tinkers, not tickers, tinkers. So this is all of the stuff that's in relate, all the mods that have tinkers in it. So as you can see the blue text there, that says tinkers construct. So you can then go through and find anything. So there's probably a few things that aren't tinkers construct here because they are, I don't know. I thought we might have like tinkers expansion or something like that. Because some mods uh, work off other mods, uh, which is really cool. We can have some pretty impressive things. So these are all, uh, I guess this is kind of the same that I'm talking about here is these items here, are mystical agricultures, but you can turn mystical, mystical agriculture resources into Tinker's Construct tools. So that's kind of what I'm saying there. Um, and yeah, so there is, this is different to what I remember because there's a lot of different anvils now. I don't think I remember anvils being a thing. So I might have to go and have a look at a few tutorials as we progress through this because that's always a fun. I don't really know what's what these are either. Slime Lytra, can you make that? Oh, okay, yeah, you can, but not really worth it. Um, all right, let's quickly have a look at the thing I was looking for, which, oh, also, is this a thing still? So if we destroy this crafting table and then put this here, Oh, it's not. That's that's sad. Maybe it's something you'd do instead. Because what are the, what is the items we actually need? First of all, well, that's probably more important. I'm just tinkering around with things. Haha, <laughs> tinkers construct. So we need a tinker station and a part builder. All right, let's get those. Tinker station. So that is wood and some patterns. So we need to make these patterns first, which is just some planks and some sticks. Not too hard. So stick, and that's three, which that means we can now make that. And then what was the other one? Tinker station and was it part? Part builder, yes. Okay, so let's go to part builder. I really enjoy the um, Tinker's Construct, uh, what do you call them? Not items, is that the right word? I like the Tinker's Construct, uh, we uh, tools and weapons uh, because you can just slowly progress with them. You don't, you can start off with a wooden pickaxe and it ends up as a diamond pickaxe. As you slowly get more resources, you just upgrade pieces in it. Um, instead of getting a wooden pickaxe and then making a stone pickaxe. Um, but yeah, we can do all that kind of stuff and we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit as we go through this. So let's start off with, I think an ax is probably going to be what I want to start off with because that's probably the easiest thing as well to start with. All right, so way this mod works is this is how we can make our tools. So this is a very basic tinker station. So we can only make a hand axe, a kama, a kama. I don't know how to say that. A dagger, a sword, a matic, and a, a pickaxe. So the matic might be our best option here because we're going to need a lot of dirt, sand, and gravel, but also it cuts wood. So that needs a pickaxe head, a shove, an, an axe head, and I don't know which one that is. We'll have a quick look. It looks like maybe a tough handle. No, it can't be a tough handle. I think it's just a regular tool handle. Yep. So what we're going to need to do is we need the part cost. So you can see here that's a part cost. I think, yes, yeah, so some of them have some quite expensive options. Um, so one item in this case so that's wood that's one part so that's one material and that is our tool handle or we could do this and we need then two wood for a pickaxe head which interestingly enough it requires three wood to make a pickaxe head in when you're making a regular pickaxe so maybe a little bit cheaper and that uses up one of our um what do you call them uh, patterns, that's a word. All right, so now we need a tool handle. That's one part, and we're going to need a small axe head, I believe, is the one that we want. 
uh, Matic and small axe head. Yes. All right. I think as we're getting into night, we might have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, we'll have a look in a little bit. All right. <laughs> Jumbled it around. So, you, yeah, you put them in the right spot, and then now we make a Matic. And you can see that it's only got 75 durability, a uh, little bit of attack damage, very slow attack speed. It's mining levels only wood. Uh, there's some abilities and upgrades which we'll get into, and there's some nice little modifiers here. So, we've got Cultivated, which um, tool practically grows more material when repairing. So, I think the way it works is as you use it, but when you're not using it, it repairs, I think, is how it works. And this one has knockback, knockback as well. So it'll push things further back. Um, knockback's not too much of an issue, but I think economical. No, I think when you repair it, you get more for per item when you repair. So now we have the Matic and breaking in items a lot quicker. So now we can go through and cut down this tree. And I think because we have a little bit of daylight, well, not daylight, but light from our campfire. We should be okay from mobs here. Mobs shouldn't spawn within 24 blocks of you, I think it is anyway. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue there. Right, let's just start cutting down this tree. I don't think we have... Um, there's... I don't know what it's called. Vein Miner, I think is what it was. I never actually got to play with Vein Miner because I stopped playing Minecraft before that was even a thing. Um, but Tree Feller and stuff like that were all available as well, just not in mo regular mod packs. Um, so what's our actual next step? Did we... Oh, we completed this. So we now got lots of patterns and a part chest. And interesting. I don't actually know what that means. So now I've unlocked a lot here. So we now have basic resources. So we need to get dirt, gravel, cobblestone, sand, and dust. Um, dust might be a little bit hard to get into at the moment. We can make a hammer. So we might need stone for that. Ah, so that's how we get dust with this hammer. So it goes cobble, then gravel, then dirt, then sand, then dust. Higher tier hammers uh, can also crush one two or even three times compressed resources all at once. So we'll get into that as to what compressed um, compressed material resources are. And as you can see, a nice little joke. Uh, and then we have auto hammer, which I don't think we'll get into right anytime soon. So I think what we're going to do is make a hammer because that looks to be the next option. Which, how can we make a hammer? Let's have a quick look. Okay, so there's a lot of different hammers, and I think... Does it say which hammer we need, or can we just make a wooden one? Any hammer. So we can make a wooden hammer, which we might do because we don't have any stone as of yet. So we got sticks, we got some wood, and we can make that. So also, the other thing I can do is I can click here and then click this, and it'll put all the resources in for me. Oh, okay, hello. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not safe from mobs. All right, well, did we get... Oh, we didn't even get a string from that. That sucks. At least we have a little bit of food now. Which, interestingly enough, as we did that, it told us how much health we're going to get back from the apple, which is kind of cool. All right, chuck that in, and now we have a pattern chest, which I'm going to put... Uh, let's just put a block here and then pattern chest right here. I think if it's connected, yeah, if they're connected, they all work together then. Alright, and now that we have our hammer, we can now get some gravel, which then I think also means that we got gravel here. So now we need dirt, sand, and dust. So we could probably just pick up some sand from here. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. Is that eight? No, it's only seven. Seven. All right. Do we have any gravel? Not a lot. Oh, we already have gravel, so we don't need to worry about that. We will need to get a pickaxe to do some stone. And let's just get some dirt while we're at it. We can make our world look a little bit nicer as we go around as well, because we're probably going to flatten this out. And then 
Yeah. Do a little bit of... I don't know if I'm going to make this very fancy looking. Oh, look, you can see creepers are splitting over there. I'm not probably not going to make this very fancy looking. I'm probably just going to focus on getting um, like things that work all together first. I, I think sticks also count as... Yeah, so sticks are half and a plank is one. So that's how the whole thing works here. Um, and then we want a pickaxe head. So that requires two. And let's quickly quickly have a look. We need a tool binding and a tool handle as well. The tool bindings here. That's one. And a tool handle. That's that. And let's just make a pickaxe now. Although we did have a lapis pickaxe, it's probably still not too bad to start from this and work our way up anyways. So let's just, that was andesite, that's not even stone. <laughs> Get some stone here. So we need eight cobblestone as well, I think was the number. And that should unlock a really cool resource, uh, not resource, but tool that we'll need in a little bit. So I'm gonna leave, I don't know what the mossy cobblestone is for. I don't know if maybe there's a spawner under us. I think that's a bit weird if it was, but possibly. Oh, of course we have rain. And turn down rain a little bit because it's quite loud. So let's drop it down to like 40 maybe. Nah, a bit lower than that. It's still looking <laughs> very loud. Uh, where on earth is it? Music sound. Let's go to 10 where the music is as well. So we can still hear it, but it's not ridiculously loud. So how much stone do we have now? Now I just need dust. All right, so that's where the hammer now comes into place. So let's get this sand, get this hammer. Oh, what on earth was that? Well, maybe this isn't a good spawn. That hurts whatever it is. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's just try and do things out of its line of sight. Ow. At least we have some apples. And we just gotta wait for the rain to stop, I guess, and the daylight to stop. But that really hurt. Is it still there? I can't see it at the moment. Hopefully it despawned. Oh, creeper. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Okay, this is an eventful start. Of course he can swim. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't going to get the resources from him anyways. Alright, so now that we have all that, we have... Yep, so we got compressed cobblestone and a ultiminer. I don't know what ultiminer does. You enables the FTB ultimate when active. Just worried that a creeper is going to sneak up on me now. Okay, so let's let's have a quick look at oh rain's stopping, which is good. So how do we how do we use this? Is it the ball walls? Don't think so. Uh, let's have a look in controls. This is always a good spot to look. It's FTB Ultimine, so that's a thing. So ah, uh, okay, I think Ultimine is gonna be Vein Miner. Huh? But how do I activate it? Is it just gotta sit my inventory. It's inactive. See basic resources, trinket quest. Hold shift. Okay, see basic resources and lost trinkets quest. Okay, how do we do this? Uh, lost trinkets. Any lost trinket item. 
Oh, okay, so we just need to... Is Ultimine here? Or do we just have to get lucky? Can't see the helmet, so... Trinkets will prevent you to... You learn the trinket by holding the trinket in your hand and right-clicking. Ah... Yay! Ultimina. So does that mean now we can go here? Have a look. Does that now mean we have? No, it's still inactive. See basic resources, lost trinket quest. All right, let's 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 have a, another look at that. Uh, press R on your trinkets into... R to open your, your trinkets interface. So let's go to controls because obviously R is being used by something else currently. Uh, options, controls, and we can go to key R. And we can see everything that uses a key R. So range overlay, trinkets. So this is the lost trinkets one. So let's go, let's go star or asterisks or whatever you call it. And now we can activate, cool. So this is how we activate trinkets. So now we have Ultimine, and Ultimine should now be unlocked. Active, yeah. So now, technically I could do this and get rid of all the leaves, which I don't know if I want to do. Um, and I think this will use Hunger. So let's place some blocks and climb up here. And hopefully we can take out this whole tree in one go. It'll use a lot of all the durability as if it normally would. So we do that. Mind that. I don't know if that means that one's fine. That's gone. Okay. So anything that's diagonal or touching, I think counts. Now you can see, and we also have faster drop for items. Let's just do that. So, wow, it is very, very wet on this island. All right, so we got... All that kind of stuff. We can now have lots of saplings. We didn't get any apples from that. Um, and I have a feeling if I just start spamming shift. Tree goes. Yay. And now we can do this again. The item breaks. Um, <laughs> now we have to repair it, which I think we can do Matic. And two pieces of wood. And it's repaired again. And then we just go back to taking down trees. So now mining trees should be significantly faster so we can get a lot more wood. And then... Wow, why is this rain still incredibly loud? I feel like it's just blocking me out entirely. So let's, let's drop this down to like three. I don't think it's helping. <laughs> All right, what do we need to do now? So I don't think this actually had the trinket that I wanted. Wow, there's some pretty impressive things here. Yeah, all right, we'll have a look at that in a little bit. All right, so what do we now need to do? We need to either create a mob farm and kill some spiders or grow and harvest. Okay, so they want us to get a tinker's weapon and some string. Or we can have a look at, what else can we do? We can do clay and water, which clay is not too hard and a bucket of water is probably not too hard either. Got to be careful. Creepers seem to just be able to get to our island. I think because of this is why it's like that. Let's just test this. Just... No, it's not being affected by that. That's so weird. All right, let's just turn down sound entirely. Okay. I don't know why rain's not being affected by weather, but... Who knows? Bit weird. I have to have a look at that and see what we can do. Because now the game feels very quiet. Alright. What do we want to do? We want to... 
Do we want to go any further or do we want to stop here? So I don't think we can make a, yeah, we need iron, netherite, got diamond or gold. And we don't have any of those currently. So what else can we make? We can close that. Do we have, oh, we have unlocked a lot, of, a lot of things now. So we have exploration now. So we can make a boat and get, oh, we can get a pet parrot. That's cool. Diving gear, a sea moth. I think that's subnautica kind of thinking there. There's all sorts here that now we have. Um, getting started is the one that we started with. This is exploration we're currently in. And then we have storage. So this one is drawers and crates, um, which they're all pretty cool to muck around with. Then we have miscellaneous. So we can make spikes, a stone wand. What does the stone wand give us by any chance? The stone wand isn't a bad option. I think it's just that. No, is it this? Oh, this is one compress. That's why. There we go. And now we have a stone wand, which now I think, yeah, completes that quest. So we just got ourselves a some birch top roof. Okay, cool. We have a roof, I guess. All right, so compressed cobblestone, we can turn to just nine stones. So for every nine cobblestone, you can make one compressed cobblestone. And then for every nine, one compressed cobblestone, you can make two compressed cobblestone. And obviously you can just continue to grow that as it goes. Um, and yeah, so we can, we can get some, I think it's nine compressed cobblestone, nine times compressed cobblestone, which I think something like nearly a billion stone or something like that. Let's have a look. 9x, okay, 8x, cobblestone, maybe compressed, compressed, yeah, so you can go, oh, maybe this one only allows three times, okay, never mind, In this mod pack, not the case, other mod packs, you can go higher. That's all right. I don't think we'll ever need to for this situation, but it used to be always one of the quests that you'd get. So done all that now. And I think next episode we'll get into sluicing and getting resources. We've done quite a bit already, which is kind of how it operates. Let's just quickly get this test. Um, and Look, I don't think I want anything here. And we, what we might do is we just take one and destroy it. Because I think anything here is kind of just cheating. What's the least cheaty option? There we are. We've got a piece of clay. Which I'll go put down here. There you go. Considering the comparison we could have had, I think that's not a bad option. Or we could have just, just got rid of it. That's not a big deal either. So miscellaneous, that one's done. Yeah, so I think we've, we've got a fair few things done already. Um, and yeah, next episode, I want to get into some clay buckets and maybe some sluicing because I'd love to be able to get some uh, stone and stuff. like uh, Not stone, iron and diamonds and maybe progress quite a bit further as we go through there. Um, I think getting started, once we've done that, it's going to open a lot more down this uh, side because there is no quest currently showing for a lot of the tech mods. Like the only one that I can see here is some drawers, which, yeah, it's literally any drawer fits that category, which is nice. And I love drawers. They're very, very fun to muck around with and... Yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I hope you guys want to see more of this content. If you do, please do comment down below. I'd love to see um, people's opinions and thoughts and all that on this mod pack. Um, and yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy and currently not subscribed, you greatly appreciate it. If you do so, if you want to check out any more of my content, do check out my hardcore Minecraft series that we just completed last weekend, um, which a week ago today, we took on the ender dragon so yeah hope you guys do enjoy this content and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace